Hey everybody, it's Derek Comartin from CodeOpinion.com and today we're going to take a look at getting started with ASP.NET Core and Visual Studio Code. The first thing we're going to do is download the .NET Core SDK for Windows. So in your browser head on over to .NET and this is the new landing page for all things .NET. Here you can download .NET Core 1 and you're going to be given the option based on your operating system uh, which files you want to download. So for the purpose of this example, since we're running Windows, we're going to be downloading the .NET SDK for Windows. Uh, on this page you'll also see other downloads related to Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. Just make sure you download simply the SDK and nothing related to Visual Studio. Once our download's complete, we're going to run the installer and just run through the normal settings and this will install everything on our local machine. Our next step is going to be to download and install Visual Studio Code. There are other options for editors, but for the purpose of this example, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. Browse on over to code.visualstudio.com where you can get the latest version. Once your download is complete, we'll accept the terms and use all the default installation options. Now that we have the .NET Core SDK and Visual Studio Code installed, let's fire up a new ASP.NET Core web application. I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop that will hold all the new files for our Hello World application. The .NET Core SDK contains a command line interface, also known as the CLI, that allows us to set up new projects, restore NuGet packages, build and run our application. We run the CLI from the command prompt. Here we're going to call the .NET CLI to create our new project dotnet new dash t web. The dash t represents that we're creating a web template. The second thing we're going to need to do is restore all the NuGet packages that are required for this new project template. We can do this by calling dotnet restore. Now that we have our project files created and our NuGet packages restored, let's go ahead and open Visual Studio Code. Once Visual Studio Code opens, after a few seconds you'll notice a dialog at the top that says the required assets to build and debug are missing from your project, and if you'd like to add them. Click Yes. This will install the OmniSharp extension, which allows you to debug c -sharp code, as well as provides IntelliSense and other cool features. Our final step is going to be make sure that the app runs and we can debug. I'm going to jump over to the home controller and set a breakpoint on the index action. On the left menu there's a debug icon. From here we can start and debug our application by clicking on the green arrow. This will build our app and then run it. Once it runs it's also going to open up our browser. Our browser is going to make a request to the home controller index action which is our default route. This is going to cause the breakpoint to get hit. We can step over the statement and continue. That's it. You're now up and running with ASP.NET Core and VS Code. Please subscribe for more .NET and related videos. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. 